Hey y'all, I have a quick word to release that the Lord put on my heart and I want to share it. I just got off of a Bible study from my business mentor. We're studying through the life of Joseph and this part just slapped me. The Holy Spirit has been speaking it to me for the last three days and I know that it's going to bless you. So for many of you, you've been in a season of processing. You've been in your wilderness season. Many of you have gotten confirmation that you have stepped out into your promised land, but you're still in a waiting season. Or maybe you're starting to see like a little bit of the fruit, but not the full manifestation of the promises being fulfilled that God has spoken to you. Also, just a quick side note, one way to know if you are in your promised land is there's an incredible peace here, you guys. It is crazy. There is so much peace and rest. Rest. Like, I can't explain it. If you know, you know, but it's definitely an insane rest. And it's just like, even when you're busy, even when you have a lot to do, like there is a rest. There is, I don't even know. I can't explain it, but yeah. And so um, this passage that we're going to be reading from actually comes from Genesis chapter 41 at verse 14. And it says, so Pharaoh sent for Joseph and he was quickly brought from the dungeon. When he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. And so I'm not going to recap the story of Joseph because I know that you all know it. And if not, then go pick up your Bible and read the story and then meet me here at chapter 41, verse 14. But we all know that Joseph was in prison. He was falsely accused. He did the right thing and he still was in that place. And it was all a part of God testing him pruning him, molding him, refining him, and processing him. But just in an instant, Pharaoh sent for him and he was quickly brought up from the dungeon. But before he could meet Pharaoh, he does something. And I'm going to talk on this today. It says when he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. Okay. And so if you guys have been following our ministry, then you know, back in December of 2022, the Lord actually had us do a three day fast. It was called a uh, mind renewal fast. And basically the idea was that many of us, our minds are thinking in the old season, our minds are thinking like we're still um, slaves in Egypt or we're still going through those trials and the Lord wanted to renew our minds so that we could step into the new season so that we could step into the promised land. But now the Lord is taking that a little bit further and he's saying, I actually want you to change your garments and put on new garments in this season and to step into your new identity. Because for many of you, the reason why you're not seeing the true fruit of the manifestation of you being in your promised land and the processing that you've been walking through being complete is because you still have on old garments. So in this reference, Joseph shaves and changes his clothes. I know I'm a female. So for some of you that might look like washing your face, getting up, changing your clothes, stepping into the new, doing away with that old way that you did things and, and stepping into your new identity. So I know that you've known yourself as you are all of your life, but God is doing a new thing in your life. He is raising you up. He is putting his sword in your mouth. He is launching you out to the nations and he is going to use you greatly and mightily. And you are a powerful man or woman of God. And so what is happening is God needs you to come into agreement with that new identity. You are not the old you, the failed you, the one who's been going through the fire and the refining and the processing. The one who had to fail and fail and fail and fail forward. The one who had to learn how to eat the manna and trust God for provision. The one who was learning to hear God's voice. The one who's been learning discernment, learning all these things. God is saying the processing is complete and now it's time for you just to step into that identity. You are now the you that has the discernment. You are now the you that has the provision. You are in abundance. And God wants you to come into agreement by changing the garments and by um, like even even there's like an appearance change I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say, just like uh, Joseph had to shave. You want to know why? It was probably because he was letting himself go because he was probably a little bit depressed or discouraged or like, why do I need to shave anyways? And so some of you, you need to get your stuff, yourself together and you need to present yourself to the world, how God sees you and in alignment with what God has spoken to your life. If he's told you that he's sending you out to the na nations and he's making your name great for his glory and that he is putting you on display for his splendor and that you are royalty, you are his crown or you're his um 
what's the ring signet or anything like that you guys know these words i've been <laughs> releasing them but if these words confirm with you then it is time for you to step into that identity like what would you do if right now today you were living in that kingdom assignment you were living in the full promise fulfilled how would you have to operate today how would you have to show up today what would you have to look like God is saying it's time to step in by faith, by coming into agreement with that identity, and you're going to see the fruit of it manifest in your life. And I know that for some of you, you're like, no, it's just going to fall on my lap. Well, remember, even when the Israelites entered into the promised land, God still gave them specific instructions of things that they needed to do. And so it's really important that you take this word back to the Holy Spirit, have him confirm it, have him speak it to you and let you know what he's calling you to do in this season in order to prepare, in order to step into your new identity and make sure to be obedient to what he is calling you to do and telling you to do. And so I pray that you would hear the voice of God. I thank God for your new season. I thank God for your new garments. I thank you that the Lord is arraying you in a new robe of righteousness and garments of salvation, that you are stepping into the version of you that he's always destined you and called you to be. I thank you, Lord, that for many of your children, the process has been completed and they have arrived to their season of promise fulfilled and stepping into their kingdom assignment in jesus name we pray amen so i love you all so so much if this word bless you i want you to get in the comments and let me know that this was your word and also if this was a confirmation let me know because it definitely blesses me um, if you are watching on youtube please be sure to thumbs up this video share it out to someone and subscribe to our youtube channel if you are watching on tiktok then make sure to hop over to our youtube channel subscribe and come check us out there but also follow me on TikTok. I love you all so, so much. Anyone who is looking for a community for Christian mentorship, um, I do have a community called Powerhouse Babes, and I would love for you all to be a part of that. And so I love you so, so much, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.